Hello YouTube and Lego fans, adult fan of Lego UK here and welcome to another Lego Star Wars Winter 20, 2014 set review. So this is set 75042 and this is the Droid Gunship. So this is for ages 8 to 14, comes with a piece count of 439 and is currently available in the UK for £44.99 from the Lego store or the Lego store online. Okay, so let's take a look at the box. There you can see the front of the box, and this comes with four minifigures, two of them being new. Um, but we'll have a close look at those in a second. This also comes with the new spring loaded shooters, so you can see the front design on the box there. We spin this around, and there we can see the rear of the box. So we can see the actual uh, droid gunship here, and as always, some of the features. And this has got quite a few good features on this actually, which I'll show you in a second. And then some of obviously the battle scene um, design on there. The top edge of the box there shows you the four minifigures. And there's Chewbacca um, in scale. Uh, again, a shot of the um, droid gunship there. And again, just pretty much standard information on the rest of the box. So that's our quick view of our box. Okay, next up, just a quick look at the instruction manual. Again, same art or design on the front as it is on the box, which you can see there. Standard rear. Um, inside rear cover, the sets from the Winter 2014 Wave and the minifigures that go with those sets. Um, more information, then we have a page with some of the features of the actual droid gunship. We have the inventory piece count over two pages. And we have a build of 65 pages in total. Front inside cover. Um, this comes with um, five bags, you can see there, so one, two and three on the left side there and what's built in each bag and then on the right side there, bags four and five and again what's built in each of those bags. So there we go guys, so that's the instruction manual. Okay guys, so there we have our first look now at the droid gunship and the four minifigures and I think it does look pretty menacing um, this particular droid gunship um, I do like it I like the design and I like some of the features that come with it um, it's got a couple of cool minifigures with it um, two of them are pretty standard being the battle droid and the super battle droid but new design of um, Chewbacca and one of the um, uh, Kashyyyk um, clones as well but we'll have a close look at those in a second so let's in fact have a look at those minifigures now Okay, so first up we'll take a look at our Super Battle Droid. Uh, I'm only going to quick give you a quick view of this. I think most of us are going to be familiar with this particular minifigure. It's been around for a while now and it's in a lot of these uh, Star Wars sets. So, there we go. That is our Super Battle Droid. Okay, next up have a standard battle droid again in many many sets so we'll just have a quick look around this comes with a blaster um, again nothing else new or changed on this particular variant of battle droid so that's our battle droids okay so next up is our 41st elite corpse trooper right out of Kashyyyk See there the front leg printing, very cool and detailed front torso printing which is carried through onto this pretty impressive helmet with some great printing detail on it again you can see that camouflage print continued through on that helmet looking pretty awesome comes again with a blaster remove his helmet you can see there Got that standard clone head, single sided. 
I really do like these new minifigs with this um, camouflage print on them. Okay, so that is our 41st Elite Corpse Trooper. Right, our final minifigure is our new variant of Chewbacca. So, let's start with the legs. You can see some leg print in there. Moving into his body area, his torso. And obviously through to the head and face detail. Again, you can see some pretty cool printing and detail now. Around that mouth and the face. Um, bit of printing on the back there. Um, comes with this crossbow. Just remove that actually. Okay, and just how he is assembled. This is a separate piece. All the torso and the head is one mould. So we can first of all see there that the actual body torso piece is just this standard brown minifig piece. Obviously the piece of all the detail is this separate torso and head which just simply slides on top like so so that is our new 2014 Chewbacca okay so now it's time to have a closer look at the droid gunship itself so just remove these minifigures okay so we can get a bit more in on this Just going to take you on a 360 tour so there we can see the front view i'm just going to carry on spinning that round for a second just so that you can uh, get a good look and there's the rear and again back where we started so i'm just going to bring this closer to the camera now so that we can get a bit more of the close-up and look at some of the detail right so let's bring this into camera shot now and here it comes so i'll bring it in like that so you can have a look at the top holding it like that actually give you an idea of the scale of it as well against my hand um, but yeah, it does look quite, like I said, menacing. Some good detailing on it. So we bring it up there. We look at this front end here with these uh, cannons here. These can be moved. They're on these um, ball, these kind of ball joints here. We have these on a few of the sets actually. Um, and we have this centre cannon there as well on the front. Okay, this piece does actually detach, this front piece, which I will show you in a second. just want to give you a quick tour closer up at the moment so we can see some of the detailing. Um, we have stickers, obviously, as usual, everything you see is going to be a sticker. Sticker, sticker, sticker. And obviously just some of the detailing on the top there. Spin that round, look at the rear. Again, we've got some stickers here, some of that rear detail. And if I'm going to now go from actually these, obviously these move here too, like so, and go all the way down and all the way up like that, and exactly the same on the other side. Um, so in here we have again the new spring-loaded missiles. You can see the front of it there, and obviously the rear of it there. Um, and again, same on that side. So I'm just going to fire that one on that side. Oh, <laughs> and that just shot out then. Um, and now one thing I have discovered is I've got a faulty one on this side. So I'm going to try and fire it because it doesn't fire every time. And I know it did that time. So it's working now, but it, it's a bit temperamental, um, that particular one. So to reload these, we can see the spring... That's the new brick, actually. If I get that upside down, I'll try. There, that brick here is where the spring is inside. That's actually built in there. So, to load it, if we have a look at the actual 
missile you can see it's got the kind of um, indentations on it and that just slots in bear me a minute so I can see what I'm doing there so it slots in then we have to align it up push it back and you should hear this click there we go so that means it's then loaded um, and then the same on the other side okay so they're both now loaded again okay so from that shot I am now going to go all the way over to show you the underside so the first thing you see here we have some bombs um, fitted to the underside of the droid gunship so I'll show you how those work in a second but essentially you've kind of got these um, that come down here like hatches I guess you could call them but you can also use these to stand the droid up so they come down like so okay and what I'm going to do in a second is show you these operate but here this is the mechanism the levers we pull and as we pull these out this will release <laughs> those bombs and I just shot off another missile by accident there so that's another one lost by the looks of it but um yeah, they do fire at some rate, um, those missiles. So now I'm just going to show you these bombs dropping. Okay, I'm going to show you those bombs dropping in just a second, but just to go back to these, what I called the hatch, I guess really they're mainly landing gear. Um, so you put them down like that, then it obviously just helps uh, when it's actually placed down onto the surface like so. Um, so I'm just going to close those um, back up like that and now I'm just going to show you these bombs um, dropping out hopefully hopefully you'll get to see this so again these are the levers that we pull to drop the bombs out so I'm just going to do as you're looking at it the left side first I'm going to try and do this so that you can see and all we do is just pull this mechanism back I'm trying to show you it so you can see the bombs at the same time so pull back yeah and you can see them all drop out okay and while that's out you can see there that mechanism just to take some technic pieces in there and again if I show you on the underside you can now see if I just open that up you can see there how that operates so Ethan Got my little boy here, Ethan, with me helping. Say hello. Hi. Good boy. Um, Ethan, hold that up to the camera sec so they can see what the bomb looks like. So that's what the bombs are. If you hold it, hold up, pull back. There. So that's what the bombs look like. And they just simply slot back onto these like so. There you go. Next one. And again, that one. And the final one. Thank you, Ethan. So they're back on there now then all we do then is push up back up and when that's there that means they are obviously safely secured in place okay so that's our bombs and how that works okay so i think kind of the final bit here is the front section here um does detach from the main body of the droid gunship this is obviously when the main droid gunship is under heavy attack this piece can detach detach and fly away and fight another battle so I'm just going to take that off now and it just simply pulls off like that and I just want to show you how that is fixed you can see in here this piece can you hold that for me Ethan please okay fits into that there so it's a ball joint basically and that just fits in there 